Hey everyone, uh, we're going to do a short video today introducing global parameters. Now, global parameters were introduced in Revit in 2016, and they're basically a centralized uh, control over generally uh, loadable families and so on. Uh, and you can use them for dimensional parameters that you want to be controlled consistently from a central location. So effectively, you can think of it as a, as a central override for uh, parameters throughout your project and you can adapt that and, and think of ways to use that as you will uh, in this video we're going to look at using it for materials so the the problem is uh, let's say that in your house or your building you've got a bunch of windows right and they're all different families or different types of families and if you decide that you're going to change the material in the the windows from i don't know pvc to aluclad or something then you have to go into each type and change it okay so if you had your window materials controlled from a centralized location, that if you updated it in one place, it would update all the other uh, instances uh, of windows, uh, that would be very useful. And that's what we can do with global parameters. So you can access global parameters in the manage tab. Uh, it's right here, uh, global parameters, or there's a keyboard, sh uh, keyboard shortcut GL. Okay, here we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create material parameters to assign to windows. OK, so our windows have a frame material. Uh, these windows actually have an internal and an external frame material. You have a sill material and a window board material and a glass material. So I'm going to create a parameter for each of those. So new parameter. We call it uh, window frame, window frame external. And we'll change the type from length to material. And OK. I'll create a new one. Call it window frame internal. Again, change from length to material. And OK. And new parameter, window sill. And from length to material. OK. A uh, window board. And again, change from length to material. And OK. What else do we say? We have glass. So window glass. And again, change from length to material. And OK. Right. So we can change the value here. And if we, uh, if we link all our windows to these parameters, then once we change it here, it'll change there. OK. So for now, I'm just going to click OK, and I'm going to go one at a time to my windows. Ideally, you'd be doing this as you place them. Now, you could go uh, a little step further and create a Dynamo script, and maybe we'll address that in a different video later. Uh, a Dynamo script to grab all your windows and link them to global parameters, uh, which is a very useful and quick tool to have in your arsenal. So select the window, edit type. Uh, here we are, window board material. Uh, we have a little box here beside, associate global parameter, click on that, and select window board, okay. Window external frame material, same. It's a little slow, the process, but it speeds up your workflow later on. Window glass, same. Uh, internal frame. Now, for the sake of speed in this video, I'm just going to do two windows so you can see it happening at once on both of them. And window sill. I also have a window seal material there, but we don't need to do that. Window sill. Okay. Now you'll see these boxes are available for dimensions as well. Again, we could have global parameters for dimensions. But that doesn't make as much sense for, uh, or it may if, if, you, if, you're, if you have a complex system set up, but it doesn't make that much sense for simple windows. And click OK. OK, so now our window has no material, because remember, in our global parameters, we have no materials assigned. OK, I'll pick this guy here and do the same. Edit type. Window board, window board, OK. Uh, 
external frame material, external frame, glass, internal frame, medieval frame internal. Window sill. Okay. Okay. So again, you can see that both those windows now have no materials. Okay. So I'm going to change from my global parameters. I'm going to change the materials, and you'll see them both update together. Okay. So GL or in the Manage tab, you can find it. Window frame external. Select the button there, and we pick a material for that. Um, doesn't really matter what it is, I guess. Let's say something that's visibly obvious. Uh, we'll just pick copper because you can see it, right? And okay. Internal, uh, just generic bronze, okay. I'm just picking random materials just so you, that that'll be obviously visible. Window sill, we have a sill material. Doing concrete sill. Window board. Okay. And window glass. We get a glass material. Uh, glass. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll just pull this out of your way so you can see it happening. So when I click on OK on this, it'll immediately it'll take a moment, but it'll immediately update uh, all the window parameters, the window material parameters in these these families. OK. Now this will just take a moment. Now again, I think you'll agree the power of that is actually something because. Again, we can control all our windows loaded into the project in that central location so that, again, you don't have to go and find each family and each type and, and change them individually. Uh, we could do it centrally. It's a very useful tool to have in your arsenal. And again, it can be applied to other uh, things like dimensions and so on. And we'll cover that maybe in a different video. Hope this is useful. Uh, if you liked it, click on the like and subscribe and you'll be notified of future videos. All right, have a go and good luck with it. Enjoy.